Hey guys, this is Reed from Game Buffet, and uh, as you can probably tell since Martin beat me to the punch, we're doing a new thing called Entrees, which is where we do uh, just one of us on a game. He's doing Half-Life 2, and of course, as you can see, I'm doing Kerbal Space Program. Um, I have played the demo, but this is the first time I'm playing the full version, and I'm sharing that experience with you guys. Um, start new. Now I did pull a flag design off of Reddit, um, which I thought was really cool. Player name, game, buffet. Oop, what the? There we go. I heard that in the new update they're doing career mode, which is really cool. So I'm going to change this. Oh wow, those are actually pretty cool. How do I... Huh. I might have to add that uh, manually. I'll do that later. Start! So, it took me about 20 minutes to get the audio on this correctly. Um, so if it doesn't mix right on the first episode, you know, I'll catch it and I'll try and fix it. Just as curiosity, let me see if my ships from the demo are still here. Yep. Oh wait, no. No, they aren't. Okay, I didn't like them anyway. So, I figured that the first thing we're gonna do in this would be to, uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know most of this stuff, so let's find out together. This looks familiar. Um, wait, do I want to put a manned thing? Actually, uh, I'll do... I've never done a probe before. So this is a... I have no idea. I'm just going to... What's the difference? Probably wait, right? Yeah, okay. So... I'll do this. Never done that before, so actually... I know how to get into orbit, so I'll do, the, do this one. Why not? Um... Okay. I want an SAS module. This one's new to me, I don't know. Oh, it's larger? What's this? Avionics? Oh, that's for space planes, right? Um, sure. That'll be that. Um, all right. Oh, jeez. I know almost none of this. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. I need tanks. Um, that was my phone. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm trying to concentrate. Ooh. Oh, geez, did I screw it up? There we go. Alright, um. Uh. Oh, shit, I don't know. God damn. Uh. 
also one I used in. Shit. I think this was the one I used in the demo? Sure. So that'll be. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to put a, another engine on this one. I need a decoupler. I forget where to find those. Is it? All right, so we're gonna add one. Whoa! What? They're not all that big, are they? Um... Uh... Yeah. Here we go. And then... Oh, can you not place on fuel tanks? Did that? I don't even know if that worked. Maybe I should just add another tank onto this. I have no idea if this will fly because This is stuff that I haven't been seeing. Uh, I need solar panels? Is that here? Because I need a... I need a, an electrical charge to power the probe. And while rock, the boosters are going, or not boosters, engines, they do... Do you think that's overkill? Nah, it'll look cool. Um, oh, we need to put a an antenna. Yeah. Wait, what's this thing? This looks cooler. Because I think these open uh, some, with some of the videos that I've watched. I'll, I'll use this. I mean, we're only going in low curve in orbit. So, this this part right here will be the part that's actually orbiting uh, Kerbin. Um, obviously, these things are going to spread out. That's going to spread out. This is going to be part of the thing that launches it into um, Kerbal Atmosphere. Um... I think I have to put another another decoupler. I can't remember. Um, I need a stack decoupler. What's the difference between a separator and a? <laughs> Cutting a rocket in half. Um, I don't quite need that. So this lower part that I'm building now, I'm just. Uh, this will be the part that actually, this is the first launch stage, it's going to be down here. So, I saw a video when I was playing the, the demo. I don't know if the physics are still the same. Oh shit. 
Um, wait, I think that's supposed to be a try, try thing. Or was that? Uh, try coupler. Um, and then this one had four, I think. And then each one of these had an engine. I think it was. I think it was this one. Stick. There we go. Um, these are gonna be the ones that have gimbling. Gimbling is the uh, thrust vectoring of the engine. I looked that up because I did not know what people were saying, and apparently if you have the outer engines gimbling, everything goes horribly wrong. So yeah. Uh, I forget because you have to do something on the outside I'm pretty sure oh I need a a radial decoupler I think that's what it's called Oh, this one's lighter. Uh... This thing's gonna shake like a mofo, I can already tell. I'm gonna put some struts on it. Um... Sure, why not? I'll go there. I will go there. I'm just gonna... Uh, does that look good? Good enough for me. Does that... Wait, um... Oh jeez. Let's move these down here, and then copy these and put them down here. You know me, I just have to get everything perfect. booster things on the sides, because why the hell not? Um, I just want to. So, and then... I don't know how big these things are, because I used these, but these look cooler. And it'll help compensate for- holy shit! Hell yeah, man! This thing's gonna be fucking awesome! If it takes off. Um... Structural thingamajigs, launch, launch stability enhancers. Um, guess not. We'll use them here. 
I think, I think this should be good. So let me go ahead and set up my action groups. Uh, this episode's getting a little close, but I'll just finish this and the next episode I record will be me actually launching it. So the... Oh, I need to put... I need to put... Shit. Um... I need to put RCS on this. I totally forgot. I'll just do that big thing that I saw in fuel tank. No. It's a small... Is it this one? Yeah. Whoa, what's this thing? That's cool. I don't need that much. I don't need that much to begin with. Um, so I'm going to put... I'm going to put RCS on this. So that when this is separated, it will be able to not be dumb. And I'm going to put RCS on the center of mass, which is really low. Center of thrust. Okay. I think I think that's good. I cannot remember for the life of me. I don't need R. Well, actually, I don't need RCS down there. I'll put some here for the hell of it. I don't know if I'll actually use it. And then, okay, action groups. So first I'll set up the abort action group, which is, um, everything off. Cause I mean, it's not manned, so I don't have to worry about decoupling things. I'll just let it crash. So shut down, um, shut down invin, engine, sorry. Shut down engine. Shut down engine. And shut down engine. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Custom one will be turning off the gimbal on these. Toggle gimbal. Oh, I forgot. I forgot some stuff and parts. I forgot struts and some fuel lines, but I'll get that done with. Um, custom two will be. Oh wait, what am I doing? No. No. Custom 2 is up here. This is this. Toggle panels. And toggle that. And I think that's it for the action groups. So I'm going to strut some stuff together. Yeah. I know I can do the alt click thing and copy them, but at this, like with these small of the things, it's just easier to go back to the menu. That's not even. Don't care. Um, this is what I'm worried about right here. Is this? What? Why won't it? 
This is gonna shake like a mofo if I don't put struts on it. Eh, close enough. And then... Uh, I don't... I don't know if those will shake. I guess we'll find that out the hard way when we launch. Oh, I don't need these, I need fuel lines. Do it to engines or something. I don't know. So yeah, I think this is ready. Oh, it needs a name. Oh, and I need to fix staging. I'll do staging first because I'll leave the the name for the end. Because we are running low on time on here. If we haven't passed it already, I'm not really keeping track because I'm dumb. So those release. Uh, those fire. And then let's let's put everything down here. So I don't know what'll give up first, the f boosters or how much fuel do these have? One eighty. How much fuel do these have? Eight fifty. So these are probably 260. Yeah, I guess these will drop first. Oops. Oh wait, yeah, keep these there and then... Okay, yeah, that actually worked itself out. Stop. Okay. Um, what's this? Okay, yeah, that seems right. staging is correct, I think. So, I still have no- I might have to find the file and the folder, rather. Anyway, so I'm going to name this the um the buffet line Orbiter. So yeah, the Buffet Line Orbiter. Nice simple name, gets the job done, and you know, I think it's something simple to kick this off with. So, save this. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, I'll see you in the next episode when we actually launch this bad boy. So, see you then, and uh, you know, uh, hopefully you like the new entree thing we're doing, but we are going to keep continuing the regular game buffet. So, see you all next time.